Hey guys, it's Zach back here with the new version of the requested system test. Instead, it's more like a voted for system test. You see, I was not expecting to get so many requests, so I had to change it up a bit. So now, I decided to turn every request into a vote, and each vote for each device counted. I will tell you, there were 23 votes for the system sensor Spectral Advances, 35 for the BG-12s, and something like 27 or 28 for the system sensor i3. And that's as simple as it's going to be now. But what's cool is I have it set up so everything is a BG-12, this system. That's the i3, the rest of the detectors are the same, and everything's a Spectral Alert Advanced. These two are the wall mount ones I have, both set to 75 Candela. And in the closet over here, we have the ceiling mount, a uh, high Candela version, which is set to 177. I also have the enunciator set up now, so it can be used without a key, just because it's, it, it's just easier that way. So, I turned the piezo off too, because it was bothering me. So let's go back in here, and since we didn't go down by the window yet, I will start right down here. And let's make some noise with these guys. They should be set to system sensor sync, uh, non-silenceable for the strobes, uh, horns are silenceable. Let's do it. There's the sink. Those guys are loud. Let's look in here. I can see the bright strobe. Much quieter without the piezo. Okay, so now we got it silenced. We got selective silence going. It should be on every single one. Oh yeah. These are bright. <laughs> okay, uh, next up, let's do the... Actually, we're not going to do this one this way today. We're going to wait until we can do the smoke test. Uh, so let's do BG-12LX. Alright, so it kept its sync, which is super cool. Uh, I still haven't replaced that just yet, so that won't be uh, getting swapped out yet. All right, so now let's test the i3 here with some smoke. Should take a second. So just a little more. Oh, there it goes. Perfect. up is crazy. They always do something weird to sync up the horns. And of course, to make sure the pole station is working, we're going to just give it a quick pull. And when I do that, the light on the i3 should shut off. Which it did, which means we created a short circuit and that's how you know that's working properly. All right, let's go reset the rest of these and then we'll do a reset of the enunciator today. So both of my BG-12 LXs, or converted LXs are actually notifier. So take the notifier key. And down here, same thing. In the next video, probably I'll do a smoke test. I think I'll just do one detector each video because I'm not gonna be changing them out as much anymore. Um, I also want to say, because I was asking for your guys' information, like YouTube names and everything, I still want you guys to get recognized for the tests that you requested. So feel free to, uh, if you requested any of these devices, feel free to let the world know and share with, with us that uh, you requested that on the system. 
All right, uh, so we're already silenced, so we'll just do a reset. And we'll give it a second. And it should, I didn't clear the i3. It's going to go back into alarm, I bet. Um, whoops. <laughs> this will be interesting. I should go grab that while it's still initializing. Yeah, it's still an alarm. It might actually... Oh, it didn't trip the zone. Okay. Uh, yeah, it was still an alarm. Fan everything out. Go back up there. And we should be good to go. So guys, system says it's normal. Little trick, I uh, I have the resistor in there just because I'm swapping out devices on the zone all the time. So I cheated and I T-tapped and it's fine. It works for demonstration purpose. Anyway guys, that's going to wrap up the video today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.